Hello, good morning. We're in the office today. We've got uh, kind of a lucky day outside, so we're inside. A little issue came up with the TX10 controller I have. It's all wired up, getting charged up, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna look inside. Take it apart and look inside the controller, okay? <clears throat> okay, the reason is I suddenly heard a buzzing sound, like a fan. The fan goes all the time, but I heard it scraping. And I grabbed the controller and I would just slightly twist in, just kind of, just a slight pressure inward. And the fan would stop buzzing. And then I, I started to touch the screen. If I touched the top of the screen, it would buzz even more. If I touched the bottom of the screen, it wouldn't buzz as much. So I didn't know what was going on. So that prompted me to take it all apart and uh, have a look. So we're going to take the TX10 controller apart. It's very easy. Look inside and see if there's anything wrong. Stay tuned. Let's begin removing these two sides. They're on by paste glue and little grommets. And these little two pieces here you see are separate pieces. So let's start with that. So we just peel this back a little bit here and you'll notice it just comes apart there. These three things here and there's little grommets there. We peel that off. It comes off. And you'll notice this little piece here, covers here, is in here. Okay, that's where that goes. We put that to the side. Okay, so that's the right side with the little piece. Now, we, and this is all sticky, so be careful. So there's another screw there, and another screw there. Let's go to this side and do the same thing. Okay, a little bit of a help there, a little bit of a help there, a little bit of a help there. Comes off. Just be careful of this other piece here. There we go. And this little piece here. So we'll put that piece there. Next, we're just going to quickly remove the eight T8 Torx screws. Four in the middle and two on each side that was underneath the rubber pads. That's eight in total. There's nothing in the middle, so that's just a total of eight screws. We're okay there. Okay, now then, this seems to lift off pretty easy here. So, let's have a look. Okay, let's flip it over this way. Here we go. So that is... The switch for this plate, which runs the C6 and the C5 button. Okay, so let's put a block under here so it's not stressing anywhere. There we go. So that's the insides of it. Okay, now Femi did tell me that the fan was under the bottom right corner. So this would be here. This is the fan. Okay. And that's what I hear. But it doesn't appear that it's touching anything. So let's come down for a closer look at everything inside, shall we? Okay, here we go. So this is a closer, closer. 
So as we look at this, we can see where the antennas are. We can see it's in a layered configuration. So a series of small Phillips screws you could take each layer off and remove everything inside right down on the motherboard. The two blue batteries on either side are uh, lithium-ion batteries. Um, it's very compact, very neatly put together. I looked at the fan. I looked at how it was mounted. It's rubberized on the bottom, so I think it's glued. But I couldn't see anything really wrong with it. So we decided we'd just put it back together. So we just flipped the lid, put all the screws back, and see what happens. Now we're going to put this back on there. We're going to put this one back in. Okay, they just go in, they wrap around. There we go, wrap it around. Lift it up. We just curl it up and in. Curl it up and in. Curl it up and in. Oops, sorry. Turn it up and in. And curl it up and in. I think. There we go. And that's in. Okay, sorry, that was a little bit weird. Then we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna put that on there, like that. I'm gonna go in like that, in like that. Get them in, here we go. Flip it up a little bit, up and in. Up and in. Let's have a look. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're good. There we go. We're back to normal. We're ready to turn it back on again. So let's turn it on and see what happens. So there you have it. It's pretty easy. Take it apart, put it back together again. Not a big deal. Well, not so quick. When I did turn it on the first time, the noise was even worse. It was like an old fan belt or an old radiator fan had gone crazy and flop, 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 flop. And if you press too hard, it would stall the fan. It was a mess. I couldn't figure it out. It took me over an hour. And where that, and I'll show you the picture here. Where that fan rests, okay, it's straight up and down. If it's off by a millimeter and you put the top cover back on or the back plate back on, it presses that housing and deforms it and stops the fan blade. So you have to get that perfectly in the right spot. And it took me a while. I was using the edge of a uh, X-Acto knife razor blade, the blade part, to get it in between just to try and manipulate it and I got it to where it was just about the best I'll ever get and there is no more noise I'll show you that here okay here we go and we'll turn it on hear that fan nice and quiet nice and quiet no buzzing, no pressing, press here, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just as it should be. Okay, so don't know what I did, but it worked out really good. And here's another little surprise. Watch that screen. There we go. Don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, it doesn't come out really good, but... 
I got my logo right in the middle. But there's a trick to that as well. That'll be in the next update, hopefully. Anyway, no more buzzing, no more bad sounds. Everything's great. It works great, but that's the easy way. Take it apart, put it back together, have a look. Just be careful when you put it back together, that fan has to be straight up and down, okay? And don't over tighten those screws because they are going into plastic, okay? So that's an inside look at the GX10 controller and now we're just waiting for the next update, okay? We'll see you then. Take care, get outside, get some fresh air. Bye now.